You are about to experience the Jersey Jaguar YouTube channel, the greatest YouTube channel in all of history when it comes to your Jacksonville Jaguars. In order to become a subscriber to this channel, if you haven't done so already, you only need to fit three criteria. First, you must love the Jacksonville Jaguars. Second, you must hate, better yet even despise, the Tennessee Titans. And third, and most importantly, you must know in your heart with everything you have that Shad Khan is a complete and total buffoon. If you fit those three criteria, hit that subscribe button. Join me on this YouTube journey, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Sit back, relax, and listen to the best Jaguar insight on the YouTube platform. As football season fastly approaches, things are getting really high in the NFL world. And today, I have five hot takes for the 2022 Jacksonville Jaguars. So let's get into it. I don't really have these in any particular order. I'm just kind of get going with them off the top of my head. They're all important. Um, but number five, Devin Lloyd. Devin Lloyd is going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. I don't necessarily know how much of a hot take that is because even though my man right now, slight setback with his hamstring, you know, he's just got to gotta stretch it. Just got to stretch it a little bit there. He'll be good. He's a beast. He is going to be, I've used this expression before, even though I hate to bring this individual up, Devin Lloyd's going to be like Telvin Smith on crack. Okay, Devin Lloyd is going to be a mega superstar for this franchise, off the field and on the field, and he will win Defensive Rookie of the Year. That's my hot take on that. Next hot take, the Jacksonville Jaguars will be top five in the NFL in rushing, Jersey Jaguar, you crazy, man. Ain't no way. Listen, listen. It's going to happen. James Robinson is already looking fantastic and is way ahead of schedule in his recovery from his torn Achilles. He's already looking great, already making cuts and everything. I think he's going to be ready to go week one against Washington. Travis Etienne, I know they're just running around in shorts and a t-shirt, but my man's looking like a super megastar out there. I believe that'll transition onto the field. And taking those two out of the equation, I've noticed that, <coughs> excuse me, I always cough at the worst times in these videos. They're doing some jet sweeps and toss sweeps with Christian Kirk and the offense. I'm seeing that a lot. I think they're going to do a lot with that. Jamal Agnew, a little bit with Visca. Doug Peterson's offense is going to be this crazy thing that we've never seen before in Jacksonville, okay? And just with the pure skill of James Robinson and Travis Etienne and a little bit of Snoop Connor sprinkled in there, running the ball, and then with Jamal Agnew and Christian Kirk and Visca doing their thing on occasion, the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to have a top five running game in the NFL. That is my hot take on that. The next one, Trevor Lawrence will be the most improved player in the entire NFL. Again, this is one of, the th one of those things where I don't necessarily know how much of a hot take that is. Trevor Lawrence was deemed as the next Andrew Luck, next Peyton Manning, and the Jaguars were lucky enough to suck horrifically in 2020 to land this next prodigy. Now, I love Trevor. I will fight and die for him. But my man struggled his rookie year. Now, part of that is because he didn't have a head coach. And when Daryl Bevel was his head coach the last month of the season, he showed a lot of improvement, in my view, just in that little bit last month of the season. Imagine what Doug Peterson will do for him. I think Doug Peterson is the best accident that Shad Khan ever had in his existence because Doug Peterson is going to take Trevor Lawrence from that struggling rookie into the next Peyton Manning, Andrew Luck hybrid, and the Jaguars are going to be a winning football team for a long, long time. Next hot take, and 
I almost hesitate to do this, but it's called a hot take for a reason. The Jacksonville Jaguars will have, now probably in the lower end, but a top 10 defense. Jersey Jaguar, are you crazy? Ain't no way that's happening. Well, the only reason I'm saying in the bottom is because there's a lot of new faces on this defense. But you guys, this defense, this front seven is nasty. This front seven is going to be something that we haven't seen since 2017, 2018 even. Okay? Ain't no more where teams at will just popping off six to eight yards every time they run the ball. And the quarterbacks are sitting there writing a buck. Okay? Just, you know, Geno Smith sitting there when we played Seattle just going 14 of 14 or whatever horrific numbers that he put up that game. That ain't going to happen this year. Because... Even though some of us may question, did the Jaguars really do enough on the defensive line? You know, Arden Key, is he just kind of like a role player? You know, Trayvon Walker isn't necessarily a finished, polished pass rusher yet. Like, all that stuff. Like, did Josh Allen really get enough help? Devin Lloyd and Chad Muma are really good pass rushers in their own right. Okay, and the Jaguars now have a plethora of linebackers. If the Jaguars wanted, they could drop back Caleb on Chase on because God knows he's not going to rush any passer. And they can send Devin Lloyd on a blitz. Or they could do the same thing with Chad Muma or, you know, whatever. There is so much that um, Caldwell, forgot his first name, um, our defensive coordinator has to work with. And it may take a little bit of time, a little bit of time. But when it finally clicks, hopefully by like mid-October, or hopefully early October, I should say, I think the Jaguars' defense could be something really, really nice that we haven't seen in a long time. Especially with all the news coming out that Tyson Campbell is having a terrific camp, which is wonderful to hear. And Andre Sisco is actually starting. Go figure. Doug Peterson's doing the simple, basic thing that Urban Meyer should have done last year, and that's that Andre Sisco is a better football player than Andrew Wingard. I'm shocked by this revelation, me personally, and I'm sure you all are as well. But Doug Peterson is doing the crazy thing and actually starting Andre Sisco over Andrew Wingard. That alone is a bump for this Jacksonville Jaguar defense. So the Jaguars are going to finish the NFL season somewhere between 8 and 10 overall. Man, when I come back to this video in December, I could either be really smug and proud of it, or I could be really sad and cry bitter tears into my Jaguar blanket here. Final hot take. Final hot take. Have we done five already? Is it four? I really should keep track of this stuff. I can't remember. Wow, that's really embarrassing. I can't remember if I've done four or five or not. But that's the hot takes that I have for you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Is there a take that you guys maybe have differently? Do you agree with them? Um, <clears throat> oh, wait. Silly me. I remember what my hot take was. Um, my hot take was uh, that after his comment that he made on Twitter that the J uh, Jaguars are going to cut Caleb on Chase on and then have him drug out into the streets of Jacksonville and have him stoned um, for his comment about I plead the fifth about Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. Oh, no, that's not a hot take. That's what should happen to him after that comment. No, guys, the real fifth hot take, the real fifth hot take, and y'all are really going to love this. Texans suck. Always will suck. We need to beat them this year, by the way. The Titans, here's the cliff. Here's the Titans. They're going to fall off that cliff. 
And not the way that Max Kellerman said about Tom Brady. They are actually going to fall off the cliff. And the Indianapolis Colts are forever going to be in that teasing quarterback purgatory. Maybe Phillip Rivers will be the one that will get us to that championship. Nope. Carson Wentz. Nope. Matt Ryan. Yeah, Matt Ryan's going to do it. Nope. Nope. Jags win in the South. The Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win the AFC South. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are buckled up. Because this is going to be 2017 on repeat. This rushing attack is going to be legit. This defense, the sooner it clicks together, is going to be the best we've seen in a long time. And most importantly, above all that, Trevor Lawrence is going to be the quarterback that we were promised. Even though last year he was screwed and had some setbacks, this year is going to be night and day different. And for the first time, really since Mark Brunel, and I believe he'll be better than Mark Brunel, the Jacksonville Jaguars will have a legitimate franchise quarterback, and I can't wait for it. Jags win in the South. That's my biggest and final bold prediction. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments again. What is your hot takes for the season? Are they the same as mine? Are they different? Let me know. Go Jags. Screw the Titans. Well, look at you. You made it through the entire video. I appreciate that. Since you've made it this far, you might as well go ahead and share this video with every Jaguar fan that you know. Really helps the channel grow, and hey, us Jaguar fans gotta stick together. Duval!